It's a Parma Wallaby, and this is as big as he'll probably get. He's six years old. Now, a kind of cool thing about Foster is that he was born here at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo in the walkabout, which you guys have probably visited here in Australia. Now, the reason he got his name Foster was because his mom unfortunately pushed him out of the pouch really early. <laughs> Bo is really excited. And here, the great staff at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, Foster, Foster, and now we get him in our lovely educational collection. So his training is actually to keep his food off of a rock. Very simple. Now with training, if Foster didn't want to come out and he didn't want to eat food off of his rock, he wouldn't have to. You know, we don't make any of the animals here in the shows do anything they don't want to. It's kind of on them. But they really do enjoy it. Like, look at him. He's just bathing, enjoying you guys, eating his food. So, a little bit about wallabies is they're solitary. So, a lot of people think they see this little guy in the Australian wild, and they're like, oh, no, it's an orphaned baby. When, in fact, he would just be enjoying himself, full grown, and he just likes being by himself. Now, these guys are usually nocturnal, but Foster here is so acclimated to our schedules here at the zoo that he is not fully nocturnal, hence him sitting on our beautiful rock here. Now, if you notice, Foster has these very long feet. That is why he's part of the macropod group. Macropod just means large or long foot. So he uses those big feet to propel himself forward as he's hopping around and running around. And you can also see as he's balancing on this rock, he's using his long, strong tail. Those tails help them also propel forward and hop forward and just balance like he is right now. Now a little bit about Foster and his rock. He has been really enjoying it today. So I've just been letting him chill, eat his food. So we're just going to let him chill. He starts running away. You guys. Should